Imagine waking up one morning and feeling the fog of depression lift away. Not slowly or after months, but within hours. And what if a treatment could help your brain literally reconnect with itself, rapidly building new neural pathways and interconnected networks? For decades, we've been told that depression is just a chemical imbalance. But what if? Actually, a wiring issue, a problem with how your brain's circuits communicate. And that's the bold promise and the emerging science behind Spravato or Esketamine. So today in Marpa Minds, we're asking, can Spravato really rewire your brain? Because if it can, it might redefine how we understand and treat depression itself. Before we start, a quick reminder that we here at Marpa Minds are a next generation mental health clinic specializing in spravato and ketamine therapy. To find out more, go to marpaminds.com. Okay, so let's begin with what is actually happening inside a brain that is depressed. So when someone is deeply depressed, their neural networks become rigid, underconnected, and imbalanced. There's something called the default mode network that's responsible for self-reflection, identity formation, and that becomes overactive and looping negative thoughts round and round. Regrets, self-criticism, things like that. It's like a traffic jam in your brain's main highway, but all the cars carrying the same painful baggage in the boot or the trunk. And at the same time, regions like the prefrontal cortex, the hippocampus, which regulate emotions and focus and learning, they lose their volume and flexibility. And then chronic stress, inflammation of the brain and heightened cortisol levels suppresses the brain's ability to grow new synaptic connections, which are the biological foundation of change. And that's why even after you have rest or psychotherapy, many people still feel stuck. Their brains don't easily shift into new patterns or ways of thinking. And while antidepressants like SSRIs do increase the serotonin levels in our brain, they don't directly restore the actual network level connectivity, drives emotional transformation. And that's why around 50% of people don't respond adequately to traditional antidepressants because the real issue isn't just about the chemicals in our brain. We are more than that. It's about the loss of neuroplasticity, our brain's ability to renew and rewire itself. Now enters Spravato, which is a breakthrough antidepressant treatment that's a nasal spray formulated from esketamine. It was approved by the FDA in 2019 for treatment-resistant depression and major depressive disorder with suicidal ideation. And unlike SSRIs, Spravato targets glutamate, not serotonin. And glutamate is the most abundant neurotransmitter and the key to learning, to memory, and to mood regulation. So here's some neuroscience in a nutshell. How Spravato works, it's a non-competitive NMDA receptor antagonist in the prefrontal cortex region of the brain. Spravato temporarily blocks the NMDA receptors, which then causes a massive surge of glutamate to be released, and the glutamate surge itself then activates AMPA receptors. These trigger a molecular chain reaction that releases BDNF, which stands for brain-derived neurotrophic factor. You can think of this as fertilizer for your neurons of your brain. That's, that's what I do anyway. And then all of this BDNF generates powerful synaptogenesis, the creation of new neural connections, literally rewiring your brain. This rewiring process also rebalances the overactive networks like the default mode network I mentioned earlier. It disrupts the endless negative loops of rumination, self-criticism. They get flushed away. So in effect, Spravato presses a reset button on our brain's neurocircuitry. It allows new, healthier thinking patterns to form. And beyond helping the brain to rewire itself, Spravato also cools down inflammation in the brain. A lot of new research into this. It dials back stress-related immune signals and eases the overactive microglia, the brain's built-in defense system. Why does it matter? Because when the brain stays inflamed during depression and trauma, it can disrupt mood, energy, and motivation. 
the system's tied to depression. So we calm that down. Spravato then helps to restore the balance back to where it should be. And it makes it easier for the brain to heal, to reconnect, and for you to feel alive again. Spravato also supports hippocampal neurogenesis, helping to reverse the brain shrinkage that we often see in chronic depression. There's also one other big reason why Spravato is so different. Because with Spravato, the antidepressant effect appears often within 24 to 72 hours compared to weeks or months with SSRIs, it creates a neuroplastic window. And this lasts typically two weeks after each dose. So during this time, your brain is primed to learn, adapt, connect more effectively than usual. And this simply doesn't happen with traditional antidepressant tablets. I'm talking about real healing happening at the source here. It's not coming just from the medicine itself, but from how Spravato clients can make the most of this neuroplastic window being open. I don't want us to think about Spravato as a magic switch and that's it. We just flick the switch. Let's think of it as a biological catalyst and what you do with this catalyst really matters deeply. So to maximize your neuroplastic rewiring, here's what you can do. First, let's imagine that pushing this reset button in your brain sets off a huge snowfall of new thoughts and feelings. There's a fresh terrain in your brain covered in brand new snow. Just picture that. And all the old trails and markings that used to cover the old ski slope, they're now covered up. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? Okay, now imagine yourself skiing, maybe snowboarding, going down this fresh hill of snow. You've now got the ability to carve new paths, go in new directions, wherever you want to go. This is neuroplasticity in your brain, an invitation to start fresh, to lay down new tracks across the snowfields of your mind. The more effort and intention, the more brave you are with committing to that, the further you'll go and the happier you'll feel skiing down that slope. Secondly, I want you to find as many ways as possible to keep building positive momentum. This is really important. The more activities you identify and try out, the better. And focus on small shifts, subtle changes. They're the ones that last. Don't think big grand outcomes. It's gonna take a long time to get there. Tiny micro goals make the difference. The smaller the change, the easier it is to carry it forward day after day. Neuroplasticity, rewiring, integration, as small as possible. Things like journaling, meditation, mindfulness, yoga, nature walks, psychotherapy. These are the common things that people do that turn into habits and Spravato combining with that catalyzes people's transformation and the brain rewiring process. So try them, but also find whatever works for you. The more of them, the smaller of them, the better. Third, once your neuroplasticity plan feels clear, ask yourself what truly matters to me. What beliefs drive me to grow, to push, to live fully? It's not enough just to not be depressed. What comes next? Maybe it's gratitude for this life and the chance to love yourself and lift others up. Maybe excitement. There's a new calling, a purpose, something ahead of you that pulls you forwards. Whatever it is, hold on to it. Let it guide every small step, every choice, every day. Whatever you do, build new routines, challenge old thought loops and align with your deepest life values. Believe in your ability to grow in new directions. Break the chains of depressive thinking that have been holding you back. This is rewiring that you're in control of. Final point that's really important about how Spravato works differently. When you start your Spravato treatment plan, it's always with two sessions a week for the first month, then usually once a week treatment for the second month. And then after that, most people have sessions every two weeks or so. And the reason Spravato is given repeatedly over several months instead of just once is that each treatment helps reactivate the brain's natural capacity for healing. It sparks positive change again and again and again. So that's more neuroplasticity, less inflammation, more fresh snow, giving patients better chances to recreate their life without depression holding them back. Kind of like physical therapy for your brain. Each session helps your brain actively learn how to rewire the neurological muscles to strengthen the new neural connections. This helps you unlearn the old rigid patterns linked to depression. And then over time, those changes, the new changes, start to stick. So Spravato provides the biological flexibility that makes emotional and behavioral transformation possible. That question, can Spravato 
really rewire your brain. The science and the growing body of clinical evidence of real people with depression suggest yes, it really does by engaging the glutamate system, activating AMPA receptors and boosting BDNF. Spravato helps restore the very connections that depression eroded away. It's not just symptom management here, is it? It's an actual structural reset rewiring. But remember, Spravato opens the door. You walk through it with intention, therapy, consistent care, commitment. This treatment can help transform not just your mood, but the architecture of your mind itself. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Marpa Minds. I'm David Rapkin. And if this video resonated, please like it, subscribe and share your comments below. To learn more about us and at Marpa Minds and how Spravato works, go to marpaminds.com. Otherwise, until the next time, stay open, stay kind, stay connected to your beautiful self. God bless.